following a disturbing 5-4 loss in Week 6, RAF ventured forth to redeem themselves against the aptly named Red Beamer. The footballing hanging of boost was compromised and defiled by a stunning pre-game admission by starting that minor invisible stew. Not realizing that the field mics were on and the event stenographer was within earshot, the invisible one disclosed that he had knowingly and wantingly engaged in a wildly erratic canoodling session with his hot and cheese kisses misses of seven and a half years. Details are sketchy, but the alleged point fest began approximately seven minutes prior to kickoff. The obligatory cigarette was shared, and, as dome security cameras will attest, Sexy Stu managed to enter the field of play with three minutes to spare. Sources close to stewage say the aforementioned smockerage began innocently enough with a foot massage. The following is a reenactment and basically true. Sort of. Hey man, how you doing? I know you got a game tonight, but uh, is that your uh, pink goalie shirt there? Uh, oh my god, it does a lot for uh, me. I just. Oh, gotta go to market. This little piggy's gotta go to market. Oh, oh. No surprise, the Baldy Banquet squeezed and stripped Emily took its toll as the RAF goal love me tender surrounded two early back-breaking tallies. It was though his mind was somewhere else. <laughs> as has been the case all season long, our boys would not lie down. With the seven-minute Humphrey, now a distant memory, Invincible Stu defended his own goal mouth with the same intensity he would defend his own Charlie Chestnuts. Time and time again, our white heroes continually raided the Red Demon's pleasure box. But much like Gellboy Geller's love life, every overture was rebuffed. The opposition's sugar alley was contested with subhuman boneheads and flaccid, dim-witted defenders. Get that IUD fence out of the way! All right, Ops' inability to score was so ranting that forward Timmy Tim Timmy and Hamdu Van Ham actually had to unswallow their team dinner and deposit them into a nearest bin. Looks like Timmy had carrots for lunch. The final repugnancy came with three minutes left in the contest. Opposing board and professional duty will call him Pencil Unnecessarily bull rush owner, manager, and part-time left back, Kenny Rockman. Beating a level-head, Rockman refused to retaliate. But of course, Zebra Donkey Reverie will call him Geo. Missed the upfield exchange, but marking an unprecedented, extraordinary event. The bartender, that's right, the bartender, the tender of the bar, will call him Vino, made his way onto the field and instructed Zebra Donkey to extract not only the offending, redeeming douchebag, but Rockman too. Are you kidding me? Bartender's making the calls? I'm not even sure this guy can make a running coke. I'll spot him the coke. Alas, RAF failed to score, even though the goalie did wink wink. Going down, wink wink again, 2 0. We interrupt this program to play Spot the Twinkie. Can you spot the Twinkie with the Marianne Arms and Sissy Boy Lisp? We'll take the first call. Week, RAF limp into the playoffs. No telling who will play. Just check the balls before the game. <laughs> 